Joining us now is the chairman of the Senate Budget Committee, Paul Sarlo. Senator, welcome back to the program. First of all, I mean, we take a look at these numbers. What do they say to you? Well, first of all, it's always great to be back with you, Michael. Um, uh, I serve as a, a member of the Capital Commission uh, and was present today through this conference call uh, for the meeting today when the debt report was publicly announced. And, and it's troubling, and, and it concerns me uh, as well. Uh, because you have two issues. You have debt rising here in the state of New Jersey, and at the same time, uh, you have revenues that continue to fall, uh, which creates a structural imbalance in our budget. Uh, and to the credit ratings out there, that's troubling to the, to the credit ratings. New Jersey has a, a lower credit rating than most states, has some of the highest debt among any states. I understand it's about $4,000 per citizen. In fact, where, where do we owe most of this money? To whom? Well, I mean, most of it's been borrowed uh, th through money markets uh, and, and, and through Wall Street and other, uh, other uh, borrowers out there, lenders. Um, and this is uh, for, uh, of course, the largest being transportation and school construction. Um, and we're not even touching uh, a portion of this, of course, is for pension and post-retirement medical benefits. Uh, but even today, uh, the debt report did not include the most recent update of the post-retirement medical benefits and pension uh, from the actuaries. The, the latest reports they have is through June of 2012. And I questioned that today. Uh, with pension and medical benefit reforms in, in place, why do we have, why do we not have the most up-to-date numbers right through June 30th of 2013? And Treasurer said we're just a few weeks away. We have a budget address in just uh, less than a week away, and uh, these are reports that we should have in place. Are you telling me you think things are actually getting worse than they were at the end of the last fiscal year? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm concerned right now. I'm concerned on, on two fronts. Uh, revenues are, are not rebounding the, the way they should be. Um, and, uh, you know, this governor did come into office saying that he was going to reverse the trend of debt here in the state of New Jersey. Um, again, today, we still don't have a stable funding source for transportation. That's one of your largest contributors. Part of the increase uh, is $900 million for transportation projects. Uh, the policy that they put in place was pay-go. That means money would be put in to pay for transportation projects. There is no stable funding source, whether it's a user fee or a gas tax. Um, this governor said he was going to reverse the trend when he came into office, and unfortunately, four years later, uh, the trend is, is, is the debt is continuing to rise, and um, that's not what we heard. As, as the, That's not what the legislature's heard. Well, historically speaking, uh, the administration would point out that while this is the largest increase, I guess it's a little over 4 percent in terms of debt that the governor's experienced during his term in office. Historically speaking, it's far lower than it was from some of his predecessors. Uh, that, that is correct. I mean, clearly the, the increases are, are not as high in some of the past, past administrations, uh, and credit is due there. Um, but we still, as we enter into the second term of this administration, uh, we do not have a stable funding source for transportation. Uh, we, have, uh, we have the $750 million worth of bond uh, uh, that were approved by the voters that we need to add to this, and that wasn't even included yet in this debt report. This debt report would even look worse uh, if you factored that in. Um, <clears throat> so uh, there's a lot of contributing factors, but clearly uh, the trend is still going up. The growth is, is definitely less than it has been in previous administrations, and, and, and I, I give them credit for that. Um, but this is an administration said they were going to reverse the trend, uh, and that has not occurred. If I read you correctly, and I want to put words in your mouth, you've, you've made reference to the gasoline tax a couple of times right now. Do we need to raise that? Is this state in big trouble if we don't? <clears throat> we need a stable funding source for infrastructure and transportation projects. Uh, listen, Michael, we just came off of, we're recovering from Superstorm Sandy. We just came off one of the worst winters uh, that I could remember, uh, perhaps going back to 1995-96. Our infrastructure uh, is in disrepair. We need to make an investment in infrastructure, and, and there is no stable funding source. So whether it's a user fee or gasoline tax, there needs to be a stable funding source. The governor agreed to pay go where they take money from the general fund, but that has not happened. Uh, they continue to borrow. Senator, have to leave it there. Always appreciate your coming on the program, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Michael.